Uh, presenter is Robin Kraft from the Center for Global uh, Deploy Development. Hi, thanks very much. Um, like you said, I'm from the Center for Global Development in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're an economics think tank um, doing research on economic issues in developing countries. Um, I'm really excited to share what we've been working on since the beginning of this year called FORMA. It's uh, Forest Monitoring for Action, um, tracking deforestation one regression at a time. We're economists, econometricians, um, we do statistics, and we discovered maps recently. Yeah. So we're very excited to uh, show this to you. Um, so what we've basically done is create a, uh, an alarm system for deforestation in the tropics. Um, so it's inspired by uh, all the talk about red, reduced emissions from deforestation and uh, forest degradation. Um, and there's a lot of money on the table, hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. And as economists, we're interested in uh, when there's a lot of money um, on the table, and uh, especially for developing countries, because this would all go to developing countries for forest uh, conservation. Um, so what is often forgot, left out of this, these conversations about red is some, how you would monitor um, these uh, deforestation and make sure that what you're paying for is actually um, happening. So you're pre paying to pre preserve forests. Is it actually happening on the ground? So um, there's nothing standardized that's available for across the tropics. So we decided um, to uh, try to uh, create a tool that would allow us to do that. So what we did is um, take uh, a bunch of different data sets, the Green Index um, or NDVI from um, the MODIS satellite, available at one kilometer resolution, or that's what we're using every month. Um, we use fires. Um, measured every day also with the, the MODIS um, sensor. And um, we use a number of other data sets and run them through a series of time series regressions um, and probe it, a probit model and produce probability maps of deforestation um, for the tropics. Um, so I'm going to show you um, a section of Indonesia. Um, so this is Riau. Um, and this is a probability map for deforestation that uh, occurred between the period 2000 to uh, quarter four 2005. Um, and what we're able to do that hasn't really been done before is go forward in time up through um, quarter four 2008. We actually have data for um, Brazil, Indonesia, and a couple of other countries through June of, uh, of this year. Um, we haven't had time to uh, go through the whole process of um, uh, analyzing all that data, but we're going to do that as soon as I get back to D.C. and publish a working paper describing our methodology in detail um, this month. Um, so as I step forward, uh, step through this, what I'd like you to notice is these uh, blobs up in the top, um, at the top, these sort of transparent uh, grayish blobs and on the left. And the, the red spots are high probability of deforestation. The yellow spots are low probability, around 90% um, or higher for red, um, less than 50, uh, around 50% for yellow, and anything below 50%, we don't care. So now we're in quarter four, 2005. And if we step through this, we can see deforestation start into, to eat into... Um, the protected areas and spread across this, uh, across this landscape. And so this is probable deforestation, and we're depending on a, we're, we're trying to find a statistical signature for deforestation. So I'm going to show you a little bit about um, what we've done uh, using Google Earth, or what we could use doing, uh, do using any um, software that does anything like Google Earth. It's a very flexible system. We're just writing KML files. Um, we could uh, use uh, any technology that reads those. Um, this is simple and easy. Um, which is something that we've been uh, really interested in trying to uh, address throughout this whole process. We want something that's accurate, fast, um, computationally, computationally not too intensive, and um, easy to understand. Um, so what we're looking at, again, is that same part of Indonesia, again in Google Earth. Um, and uh, instead of looking at this raster image, um, what's more interesting is if you convert that to um, points. So if we uh, zoom in a little bit, you can actually click on any one of these points and get information about what happened in that particular pixel um, since 2000. So I'm um, just going to pick on one here. Um, this shows down at the bottom in the, the green wiggly line, that shows the history of the green index. So what we're looking for is a drop in the green index that um, would be a signature of deforestation. So if um, you have forest that's green, it looks green from space, and then suddenly it's not, that is um, there's a strong probability that that is actually um, a form of deforestation. If there happen to be fires around the same time, there's that big drop or a sustained trend, a downward trend, then that's also something that we tag as a deforestation. I'm not going to go into the verification that we've done, but, the, um, but the, we've been using um, higher resolution data to fit this model, and um, the fit is very good. So um, we're going to be rolling this out for Brazil and Indonesia later on. But basically, you can click on any one of these, um, any one of these uh, dots, and you get information about that particular pixel. The, everything is generated on the fly, and um, again, this is a very rudimentary um, sort of uh, idea of what we want to do, but we also want to allow people to um, upload photos and uh, comment on um, areas that we call as deforestation. So if we say deforestation happened here, there wasn't any actually. We want people to tell us that we're wrong, 
upload a GPS, um, a, a geocoded photo, and t show us. Um, and uh, that's, that's the kind of transparency that we're hoping to get. Visit us on the web at cgdev.org forest. Thank you very much. Woo! Nice job.